Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance, and today I want to do kind of a tool talk instead of a tool review. I'm going to call it that because I'm going to talk about the Milwaukee Packout Tool Tray, but I'm not going to really review it as per se what all it does and what all you can do with it. But what I want to look at is how it kind of works with the Milwaukee Packout Crate. I just had a video recently about where I purchased the new divider that came out and showed how that works, but in that video I also show how to me the Milwaukee Crate is extremely versatile and how I use it many different ways. I'll put a link to that video if you wanna check that out if you haven't yet, but I got a lot of views on that. I got a lot of feedback. So that tells me there's a lot of you out there that use the Milwaukee Packout Crate. And whenever I was in the store and I saw this tool tray, I wasn't really all that interested in it, but then I went ahead and stuck it on the crate just to see how it felt. And I noticed, one, there's two things I think that this adds, well really three, that I think is worthwhile. If you've got a crate and you use this on a regular basis, I think you might want to look into adding this into the mix uh, because I think it's really beneficial. Uh, you know, the tool tray is meant to actually just be a standalone. You pick it up, you put parts in it, carry it wherever. Or it also does stack inside of the XL toolbox, the rolling toolbox, and the large toolbox or the rolling tool chest. So you can take it and put it inside of those and lock those up. I'll have a video of that I'll put up here in the background as we're talking. But you know that's that's how it's meant to be used but whenever i saw how it worked with this crate i decided that i need to share it with you guys so if you're a person like me and you work either in a place where you have a supply kind of store or supply garage and you have bulk supplies there and then say you've got a job that comes up and you need to pull five or six things from those bulk supplies you know that's whenever i, I take my crate and i just throw stuff in it and and then i take that crate with me to that, that job site or i go in lowe's or home depot and i buy some things or the supply house buy some things i'll put it in the crate and i'll carry that inside to that job well this allows you to carry some things that are a little bit bigger and then the tool tray would be very similar to the crate it's open top but it allows you to carry some things that are a little bit smaller so say if you're a plumber maybe some fittings or if you're an electrician you know some uh connectors or some wire nuts or some fasteners or whatever it might be you know this is just a little bit smaller organization and of course you could take some of these dividers out have room for a few bigger things or throw some batteries in there whatever it might be again i'm not gonna show you the hundreds of thousands of ways of different things you could put in here because you do something different than me and i might do something different from you but it's i'm going to show you the space that you have available and you can think about what is it that i could use that for and is that going to work for me so again whenever i i thought about how's this going to work with the crate you know i was in the store i stuck it on and it latches extremely easy you know it locks into place pretty decent it's got a little bit of a wiggle to it now the pack out crates weight limit is 50 pounds and the pack out tool tray is 25 pounds so if one feature that I like that this adds for me is it gives me a handle up here so I can pick it up now and I can carry it with one hand with this handle versus instead of using both sides and having to carry that with two. So it frees up a hand if I have something else that I need to carry in. Uh, but if I'm going to carry it by this handle, that drastically changes the, really the weight limit of what I can carry. So I got to be careful and not overload the pack out crate and then use this handle i'm sure you could probably go a little bit over that 25 pounds but again if you're going to lift something heavy you might still would need to carry it by these handles and then this weight limit on this handle wouldn't matter at that point so the first thing that i liked about it is it gives me this handle on the top of my crate instead of me having to use two hands and then of course the second thing would be that you get you know some smaller storage that is easily divided into six spaces. Even with my divider in the pack out crate, I still only have two big spots. Well, now if I'm carrying, you know, I just need a few fasteners or I need a few fittings or whatever, I can go to my bulk storage, pull those out, throw those in, and then there you go, I'm on my way into the job site. But here's the big thing that I noticed. As I put these two together and I looked at it in the store and I turned it, let me turn it around and show you what I saw that I think makes a big difference for this because the big thing I'm gonna be missing with this is what I mentioned in the last video. What if I need something tall? I've just now put something on top of my pack out crate that's gonna allow me to not, it's gonna basically cover up everything. I can't put anything taller than what my crate is in here. But if you turn to the back, you've got a little bit of room right here. And of course, this has got the divider in there. You could have this in here or not have it in here. You don't have to have it. 
for this to stack it locks into place with or without this divider because actually this divider doesn't engage into anything on this tool tray so it's really doing nothing as far as holding that but it would divide your space in your crate if you want to or it doesn't have to if you don't want to you could take that out and just use the tool tray so what can i fit in here uh again there's many things say i've got a couple of my m12 tools that are a little bit taller and i don't want to lay them down in there even with the big battery on i can get them to fit in there and sometimes even if you can't get them to fit in there as long as you load them in there first with the battery in because i'll show you that on the m18 you know you can still get them to go you just have to put it in before you lock this into place but see you can fit some m12 tools in there uh you know maybe you're carrying around some hornet spray you can fit that in there and of course that's going to stick up but you can still put it in there uh, some pvc pipe you know I, anything that is taller than what your crate is but will fit within basically two and five eighths inches is kind of the max uh, it gives you room for tall space uh, tall storage space so the M18 tool, the battery is a little over three inches, so you're not going to fit that in that gap with the tool tray already on here. But again, the tool is not above three inches, so you could put that in here and then take your tool tray, snap that into place, and your M18 tool will sit in that gap just fine. So again, you could load up all sorts of things. You just got to ask yourself, is it less than two and a half inches? Again, I could show you thing after thing that will fit in there, but it just matters what you do for a living and what you think that you might use in there. Uh, maybe like some spray bottles, like some Windex and cleaning supplies. I could just think of all sorts of things, but to me, it just at least gives you an option to put something that might be just a hair too tall to fit in that crate since you're gonna cover it up with this tool tray. One thing that i do want to warn you about is that as you can see here your handle is not exactly centered with your pack out crate uh, it's kind of more off to one side so you got to make sure that you kind of you know level out your load you want actually more weight over on this side than on this side as far as when you're putting things in into your pack out crate for storage so like if you maybe if you're taking in some screws or something like that you want to push them to this side so that the weight evens out so that's the one downside to this thing is and the fact that it's offset some it does give you this little extra space but you're offset that much space as far as for it being centered and being able to be carried correctly so again this this isn't for everybody because I, and i'm definitely not i'm warning you that you can't overload this like i said i've got like 25 pounds of screws in there right now and it gets kind of a little bit heavy uh so this isn't for loading up this gobs of supplies that would weigh you know 70 pounds and packing it in like it's a uh, you know going to be able to do that it, it kind of gets awkward because of the way that it's offset so that but this might be just the thing some of you guys are looking for so i thought i'd share it with you again i think i'm going to use it uh, because i basically go out to my truck sometimes or down into the storage place and pull out just small amounts of supplies for one specific job and sometimes i'll be able to just fit it in just this and I'm gonna use this instead of the crate. Sometimes I can fit it in the crate, I'll just use that. And then sometimes there's gonna be times when I might need both of them, and now I got the option to be able to stack them on top of each other and still have the option to carry something a little bit taller, and it gives me a nice handle. So let me know what you guys think. Again, I hope that it was useful to you. Maybe you didn't even think about putting this combination together. And again, like I said, it's it's not perfect. So don't get mad at me if you get it and you say to yourself, well, I can't get it to, to level out because I got too many things I want to put in it. it it's not going to work for everybody, but I think there's some of you out there that it might work great for, and I wanted to share it with you all so you can make that decision. Let me know what you think. As always, comment below if you got any kind of question or something that I, you think I missed or something else you want to see, I'd be glad to you know answer those questions the best that I can in the comments below. Make sure and let me know if uh, you've already done this and, and if you're using this combination, uh, how it's working out for you. Because again, I, I haven't used it significantly yet, but I think it's going to work well for me. But for all I know, it might not. But if you have been using this and you've already been using it for a while, let us all know how it's worked out for you. Uh, or maybe you just use the tool tray or you just use the crate. How do you like those as well? Hope all is well. Stay safe. Have a blessed day. And I'll see you guys on the next video.